I had Matt. Um, I studied uh, maths, mathematics course. I worked for Shersoft. Uh, we're a, um, a, a software development company that works in the uh, marine navigation sphere, uh, and we're we're local to Sheffield, so we're a local company. So we produce uh, marine software for um, people who work in the shipping industry. My job title is a software engineer. Uh, my job responsibilities, so I'm, I suppose I'm responsible for helping to create the software that we produce. So day to day, I'll be uh, sitting down, sitting at a computer, writing code, um, and just problems will come across my desk to do with maps, to do with navigations and routes. But uh, yeah, day to day, I'm, I'm a, I, I write code, I sit at a computer, figure out problems, go and talk to someone about those problems, get some feedback, go and write something again, try and work something out. I'll, I'll come in about, uh, about quarter to nine, maybe nine o'clock where the traffic is very bad, uh, and I'll, I'll get a coffee and I'll, I'll start working on a problem at my desk. Uh, I'll, I'll type some code. Um, I might have a, a little daily meeting in the morning to just talk about what I'm doing for the day. Uh, I'll probably go and have a chat with a colleague about something. I'll spend a lot of time working on one particular part of a problem until that is solved, and then I'll move on to another bit of a problem. Um, it, it'll all be to do with designing a piece of software, so designing like what, what a user who's sitting in front of it can see, uh, and then the other half of it will be designing logic behind that. Problem solving, I suppose, that's, that's the number one thing because there's a, lot of, um, uh, there's a lot of problems that we need to solve. Uh, being analytical, um, I'd probably say being creative, actually, because there's many ways to, to solve a problem and sometimes you need to try different things. Uh, I think the ability to think logically is very important in my job uh, and to kind of follow follow a path properly, so it's being detailed, I'd say, as well. It's a very satisfying job, I find. Um, it's really great when uh, you get a problem and you work on it all day and you grapple with it and maybe things go wrong, but then at the end of the day you solve it and there's a, there's a great sense of joy. It's like, it's like solving a Sudoku. Uh, the, the, the downside is when you, when you spend a lot of time uh, programming something and it's just not coming out how you want to and that can get quite frustrating if you get stuck in that rut but yeah the the, the great thing is being able to um, start from scratch start with a blank slate writing some code and then at the end of it you've got something that works that people can use and you manage to solve a problem and there's, there's, a, there's a nice feeling about that. It, it's challenging in that you're always you're always trying something new because you always we always want to be um, doing new stuff in our software, in what we develop, in our applications. Uh, that it can be quite hard if you've not really got any experience in those areas. But equally that is challenging. It can also be the best part of the job because when you, when you jump into something new like that um, and start out with no skill in it really, when you, when you develop and you manage to make it into something, it, it then becomes that real sense of satisfaction when you solve that problem again. Uh, I did a year, kind of like a gap year, at um, my local church in this city, a church called St Thomas Crooks, uh, and I spent a year doing some stuff there, helping out, learning some stuff about life. Um, after that I spent three years at uh, another company doing uh, the job of a technical writer, which was it's a bit di different to what I'm doing now, it's kind of more of a, um, a job about writing help documents for uh, software. and kind of within that job that really helped expose me to the IT industry which I didn't really know was something that I wanted to go into up until the point that I took that job and over those three years I, I got more and more interested in uh, programming and software development uh, and kind of just sort of really sort of taught myself to be honest through some resources that are on the web um, and then I started working with Shersoft and with Now. I'm really happy in in my current job and uh, there's loads I want to learn there's there's a list that's like this long of new technologies and new stuff I want to learn so I think over the next few years I'd really like to to teach myself more to learn more in this job and over time I'd love to uh, kind of build my own 
applications and there's so much going on in the technology industry right now there's so there's so much cool stuff that people are doing and it's a it feels like a real time of growth and it'd be really cool to engage with that try something new don't know what that might be i'm sure the technology industry will look completely different in the next five years to how it does now one of the lessons i've learned a lot since going into the working world especially with teaching myself so much is uh, i don't know if i'm allowed to say this on tape but like bloody mindedness just the the ability to just press on with something and get something done. I'd, I'd, I'd say to students like if if you want if if there's something you want to do, do it. We live in an age of like infinite amounts of information and resources via the internet, and you can get more stuff than you ever have ever before. So my advice would be just if you want to do something, find out what you need to do and and go and do it and find what you need. Um, and like resilience as well, not to be. Not to feel too down when you get knocked back, because you will be knocked back. It's the essence of life and go into the working world and try new things, but just persevering and trusting that uh, if, you, if you work hard enough and do the right things and say the right things, eventually you'll, you'll hopefully get where you want to be.